Robert Migade, National Economic Committee Deputy Chairperson, who presented an assessment report of the loan request, stated that as much as Uganda's public debt remains within sustainable levels, the country is rated at moderate risk of debt distress. The committee recommended that the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development renegotiates the risk premium of the loan to a lower rate and also have it fixed for the entire debt servicing period. Further, the committee also implored ministries, departments and agencies to observe strict project designs before sourcing for money to minimize project delays by effectively compensating project-affected persons under the upgrading of National Roads Project. The government is expected to provide 83.3 billion shillings for land acquisition. The MPs also authorized the government to refinance the reconstruction, rehabilitation and upgrade of major roads in the Masaka and Tungamo districts at 691 billion shillings. Under the pre-financing agreement, 89.5 kilometers of Masaka Mtukula Road will be reconstructed, 11 kilometers of Nyendo Villa Maria Road will be rehabilitated, 3.5 kilometers of access roads to Masaka UPDF Barracks and Masaka Industrial Park will be upgraded, whereas 2.85 kilometers of Chikagatika Funjo Road will be improved. In a committee report on the pre-financing proposal, it was observed that the unit cost of a road under the project is valued at 5.8 billion shillings per kilometer compared to 3.38 billion shillings for upgrading and indicated under the annual budget performance report for the financial year 2022-2023. The committee recommended that given the high unit cost of construction, Ministry of Works and Transport as well as the Uganda National Roads Authority ensure that the contractor delivers the best quality bridges and roads to achieve value for money. The approval comes after Parliament last week approved an earlier request by the government to borrow another 1.8 trillion shillings from the Export-Import Bank of China and World Bank to finance the National Internet Fiber and the Climate Smart Agriculture Transformation Projects.